Unfortunately, Svetlana Dela's history is connected with the bloodiest terrorist attack made in the 19s. And it was the bloodiest terrorist attack in the world back then. On 16th of April 1925, a group of communists destroyed the roofing and killed more than 200 people and more than 500 were wounded with an attempt to kill Sarbris III. Uh, instead, they killed a lot of officers and political elite that Unfortunately, we lost forever. The military organization of the Bulgarian Communist Party decided to fulfill their plan by killing a person of high importance first so they can gather a large crowd of political and military importance and eliminate them. They were hoping for the king himself. They targeted several people but finally decided to hit a famous Bulgarian ex-general. On the way for the night service, in Svetisimu Chislinitsi church, with his granddaughter by his side, General Konstantin Georgiev was assassinated on 14th of April 1925. He was a hero of the Balkan Wars and the First World War, bearing numerous medals. The service of his honor was planned on 16th of April 1925, an excellent opportunity for the communists. You can imagine what kind of people they were, plotting a kill, based on a kill, and again in a church, where people go to pray, where people find peace. 25 kilograms of explosives were smuggled into the dome foundations. For additional damage, a bottle with sulfuric acid was placed next to it. The explosion collapsed the main dome which fall down with a great force, claiming the life of most of the victims. The people who were plotting and executing the terrorist act later became the political elite of communist Bulgaria and made a fortune. Their grandsons are still among us. We can't say the same for the ones that died under the dome, some of which were generals at Doiran, war ministers in the Great War, generals at the Balkan Wars, and intellectuals. One can ask why Bulgaria is like this today? Well, the story of Svetlana Dela gives you that answer. We, the Bulgarians, were dedicated on killing our political elite and intellectuals over and over and over. What could have been the story if those people lived, it's still unknown. Maybe the history of Bulgaria could have been different. 